All right, so I want to be able to return different views with this web app. Currently, the situation we are in, we are on this particular view all the time. So when we load our web app, this is the view we get, which is the view to basically fill up this form and click run it. And that's just going to basically send this form in our case to our spreadsheet. Now, what I want to do I want to add functionality for this to load different views. And initial view, I want just to have something that will have a button that you will click on or link or a button, doesn't matter, that will basically take us to this particular view. So we want something that says add a record or whatever, get an estimate or whatever, and then click on that and go to this page. So. First, I'm going to go back to my web app. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup job here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to move all of these functions to their own file. So I'm going to do file new script file. I'll do funks for functions, one file. I will go to my code.js. I'm going to move most of these functions that are not supposed to be here probably to make this more readable so that's that and then i'm gonna go to this i'm also gonna move this calendar function from here to this one save this so that will have all these functions here in this functions tab now i'm gonna make another one here script file i'll call this one utils something like that and then I'm going to move this include function that we use in our template to here. So that will clean this up a little bit. Now we just have our do get function on this page and the rest are separate. So it's easier hopefully to manage. Now, as of right now, when we run this do get function, it's going to return us all of these, which gets us the spreadsheet, opens this, we get all the options, load this page and return that page. That's pretty much where we are. Now what I want to do, I want to move all of these to its own function. I'm going to copy this, I'm going to create a new function. This function will call load form. I'm going to paste all of these here. That's going to be this function that's going to return this, which is our HTML service. And then I'm just going to use that function here. So it's going to go here. I'm going to remove all of this stuff. So hopefully if everything goes well, this should work exactly the same way. Now we have this load form function. So save this, go back and refresh. And the same thing. Great. So all this is fine. Let's just also quickly test this. Make sure we get an estimate. So all of that works. Great. So we were able to move this to its own function down here, which loads the page we used to have, which was that page HTML, which is this thing. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to my code.js. This is where our main code is located and I'm going to have my E object here for my do get function. So I want to be able to use the parameters I'm passing from my script to here. So what I want to happen, I want to go here and add a question mark and I'm going to pass a parameter that's going to be V as a parameter. And if that V equals form, something like that, then I'm going to want to load this form. If it doesn't have this V equals form parameter, then I'm going to load some other page. So let's remember. So I'm going to do V as a parameter and form as the value. Okay. So to get all of this on my app side, I'm going to go here and create an if statement. I'm going to say if, and we're going to get this E. So if E parameters dot 
v, so that's the v parameter. That's that, short for view. So what we want to do, if that is equal to form, then we're going to load this. Otherwise, for right now, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to return something else. So I'm going to do return and we'll do some HTML service. Create HTML output. And it will just be string HTML for now. So I'm just going to create an H1 or something here. Hello, close that H1. That should do this. So basically I'm saying if that parameter is form, load this. Otherwise, let's do this. I'm gonna save that. Let me go and refresh. So that's the form. So what if we do this? And that's hello. So now I was able to load this hello when it doesn't say v equals form. And when this says v equals form, then we're going to load the other view. So now instead of doing this hello, we're just going to load a completely different HTML from here. So I'm going to go file new and we're going to create an HTML file. This will be, I don't know, I guess we'll call our home. So that's our home page. So I want to go grab my main HTML template from the other one because some things are always the same, right? So I'm going to just grab all of these, copy that, go back to my home, replace all of this with that. I don't need to load this for now, so I'm going to remove that. And on top here, we still will load our Google font, we'll load our CSS library and our CSS file. That's fine. For now, I'll just keep the same CSS file. And I don't need all of these extra rows. I'm going to keep the container though. So we have this container and in this container, we're going to have the row. So basically just take all of this stuff away, something like this. And here we'll have a 12, which will take the whole screen. So that will be now a clean file that will load. I'm going to add a heading here. So we'll do something like welcome and close that heading. And then below the heading, we'll have a button that will lead us to that other page. So let's go get a button. That's our components, buttons. And so we'll just use one of these. And now that I'm thinking about this, I already had a button in my own script and I had the appropriate color. So why not use that? So I'm going to go back to my page HTML and find a button I made before. There it is. That's the button. I'm going to copy that, go back to my new page now, paste the button. And now it should be a link, a hyperlink. So we're going to change it to an A tag to make it a hyperlink. We're going to change the text for this. We're going to say add record. Now in my code, I'm just going to return that page. So we're going to do this create template from that again. And we will have to evaluate that. We'll probably move it to its own function again later on. But for now, that's fine. So I'm going to do evaluate. And instead of using the page HTML file, I'm going to use the home HTML file. So I'm going to say home, save this. Oh, okay. So I have a period here that I'm missing. Let's fix that and save. Let's test this. Refresh. That loads the form. Now let's say this is not a form. Let's say this is A. 
that loads this view now let's say we don't have that at all so we're gonna remove that part and we get this good so we either basically get this view or we get the other view now we're able to load different views depending on the parameter that's either being passed here or not being passed what I want to change here when I click on this add record right now it doesn't do anything I want to be able to click on this and go to the other view which means we just have to add a link so we're gonna go to our home HTML and we're gonna add an href attribute to our link which is our hyperlink reference and I think I wanted to send this to you know that same place where I am and it has to be question mark v equals form save this and test this out so I'm gonna go back here and refresh this is our add record I'm gonna click on this and that did not take us to the right page so to fix this we're gonna have to make this a full link to where the application is instead of just doing the relative link because it's in an iframe it doesn't work this way so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back to this I'm gonna go back to my home HTML and instead of doing this which is just linking to this relative form I'm just gonna add a little JavaScript like this and here I want to dynamically with JavaScript output the script link which should be this so to do that I'm gonna do script app dot get uh, service dot get URL there it is semicolon so this should output like this much should output this and I want to add that question mark and the rest to it good I'm gonna save this let's test it I'm gonna refresh so this worked I'm gonna click add record awesome so now we're able to load different views and we're able to navigate through them close this close this one as well so so far that's the way we set this up now this is obviously not the best way to set this up instead of having this if statement because you are likely to have even more views than this and you want to be able to handle all these different views depending on where you're sending people so right now I have only this form and home which is basically handling everything else that's our home page but you might have tons of different pages in addition to this but that will cover in another video for this one that should do it thanks for watching please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one